So I absolutely love when we get QB ranking. So this is post NFL draft going into the season. Currently the ranking, this is on CBS. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to give you where they place all the rookies that were just drafted. The only rookie that's not included in this is, of course, Michael Penix Jr. because he will not be the starter for Atlanta. So all right, hold on. Let me let me let me guess. I'll give you Bo Nix. I was gonna say no, no. Is JJ the highest ranked quarterback of the rookies? No. Figured he would have been. No. Where do you think Bo Nix should be? Out of thir- out of uh, out of thirty two quarterbacks, thirty two teams, thirty one, thirty or. Th- <laughs> 30 is where he's at. Okay. 30 is where he's at. Stoney's a little higher on him than I am. Okay. Where's Jaden Daniels, you think? I would say Jaden Daniels probably 25. 23? He's 28. Oh. You all just gave numbers to where J.J. and Caleb would fall, though. <laughs> J.J. falls at 25. Okay. And Caleb is at 23. And the reason J.J. is probably higher than the other two is he is in a better situation. Better situation, more conducive for him. He, he Yeah, he is in that enviable, enviable spot where he could walk in Correct. and just play. You got receivers. J.J.'s biggest problem is going to be keeping everybody, especially Justin Jefferson, happy. Correct. Because he's got so many different weapons. Like, Caleb... It's going to just walk in there, and I think it's just going to be him and Roma Dunze and maybe DJ Moore. Hey, guys, I'm going to get you to ro- you guys to rock. JJ is, hey, rookie, okay? Yeah. I want the ball. No, I want the ball. No, I want the ball. I'm the real JJ. You're right. not the real JJ. Here's why they <laughs> separate them, and you all basically said most of it. But what they say here is that Caleb, of course, is the rookie. He has no one behind him, so we know he's going to get the snaps. J.J. has Sam Darnold, so they believe that maybe at some point Sam Darnold starts, but the situation there is so good that J.J. will eventually start, and then he has the weapon. Uh, I I agree. I think Darnold starts the season unless he completely poops the bed in the preseason. I think, yeah, I I think it's it's bye week. When they get to that first bye week, if the Vikings are struggling. If they're doing well, they're going to keep rolling. Now, right, and and that's just it. Now, if all of a sudden, let's just say their bye week is in week – Seven, and they're sitting there at five and two competing in the north. You don't make the quarterback change. If they're sitting there at three and four, yeah, we're gonna yeah. go ahead and make that change. All right, so I told you who 30 was, Bo Nick. So that means there's two quarterbacks behind him. Who are the two quarterbacks you think? Behind Worse than him. Bo Nix. Uh, May. Nope. Not Drake May. Bryce Young? Uh, Will Levis. Bryce Young is 31. Okay. All right. And it is not Will Levis. Number 32. Plays in New York. Oh, Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. He is dead last. <laughs> uh, you know, Mike, this is for you. <laughs> <laughs> and they did not put Drake May on here because they listed um, Jacoby Brissett as the Patriots. And he's starter. not 32? He's 27. Oh, he's better than Daniel Jones. Yeah, he is. Okay. So let's get into the – Will Levis, by the way, you mentioned him. He is 22nd on here. Then you got Kyler Murray at 21, so those are your bottom feeders right there. So let's get – You're a Lions. You got to be happy with Kyler Murray at 21. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. So where do you think Jared Goff is? (sighs) Jared Goff should be like 10. I I know where I would I would put Jared Goff somewhere between ten and fifteen. I, he's not an elite quarterback. No, okay, I know I, people in this city no, think that no, he I, is. I agree but with you. I can name a bunch of quarterbacks that right here, right now, I would take over him. I'm gonna say Goff is twelve. He is 13. Mm. So let me give you that range, though, because you said he should be between 10 and 15. So let me give you 15 in the, through 11 here. 15 is Trevor Lawrence. 14 is Kirk Cousins. 13, Jared Goff. 
12 to uh, 11 Aaron Rodgers. Is Jared that, Goff and, and Cousins pointing at each other like Spider-Man? Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. I think you think that group kind of fits together, right? Yeah. Well, Trevor, you know, Trevor Lawrence, man, I mean, talk about a decline in – Man, he had a bad. You know what? It's not a very good season. It, it's okay to say that this is the year that if he doesn't get it done, he's yes. overrated. Well, and, and it also might be the year, or you have one more where you don't extend him, correct? Right. You don't give him the pick him the fifth year option. But yeah, this is yeah. Well, all of a sudden, Jacksonville is now back in the quarterback right. market. No, they they just picked up the fifth year option. Oh, they did. I'm yeah, sorry. so they so, have him for two more years. Okay. Right. So you say it's him, Cousins, yeah, Lawrence golf. Cousins, Golf, Tua, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty accurate. I mean, that's Aaron. Hopefully, it's it's good Aaron. Yeah. Well, if it's good Aaron, he's going to be above that. But he's also getting older too. Yeah, that's true. Correct. And just so people have a reference here, Matthew Stafford is 16th, so he is worse than Jared Goff whoa, whoa, in their whoa, mind. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not saying he's should be better than Matthew Stafford is better than the six better than the 16th quarterback in the NFL. I He's think. better than Trevor Lawrence. You would right say now, that, yes. yes. I would put him better ahead than of Trevor Cousins. Lawrence. I'd put him ahead of Kirk Cousins. Mm. Probably better would, than Tua. And I was about to say, I would put him ahead of Tua. And really, I'd put him ahead of Rodgers. Because Rodgers is weird, man. I don't, I don't know if – I mean, we're banking off of stuff he did years ago. Matthew Zafford just did this. Right, two years, and Matthew Stafford did not have a bad season right. this past season. It's just the Rams weren't that good. Right, so I would I would probably move Stafford to in that category. I'd move Stafford to eleven and put Golf at ten if it were me. Ten, eleven, right yeah. around that range. Okay, so let's get into the top ten here. Some strange uh, sightings here. Uh, number ten would be Jordan Love. Number nine, Jordan Justin Love is Herbert. getting it based off of his uh, yes. the playoffs, mm-hmm. and and basically seven games. Basically. I would say starting it's Thanksgiving from, on. You know what? Right. This is why he's the Godfather, folks. <laughs> you don't need me, Stony oh. till six. I'm out of here. Go ahead. <laughs> so Justin Herbert is right above him. So you would definitely say Justin's a top ten. You know what? No, I wouldn't. Um, Got to win something in your mind. Yeah, he, just. Justin Herbert is right up there with with Trevor Lawrence. I keep hearing about how great you are. I do. Yeah, you're. Oh, he's. The, I look. I wanted the Lions to take Herbert. He hasn't done anything yet. So after a while, it's just like I know this. Uh, and this past season, because of the injury, it's kind of hard to tell. But the fact that he was responsible somewhat of them blowing the playoff game the year before. It was weird because Lawrence was so bad in the first half. Herbert was so good. They flipped the script mm-hmm. in the second half. Just but the second jerseys, half yeah. is more important. Yeah. So the three quarterbacks just outside of the top five would be Dak Prescott at eight, Jalen Hurts at seven, Lamar Jackson at six. All right, let me ask you a question. Who would you rather have, right? If you could trade Jared Goff for Dak Prescott, if you're the Detroit Lions, do you make that trade? Not not me. Me neither. I would. Really? What has Dak won? Okay, no, no, no. He's won a playoff I, game. I'll give him that. Or two. Jared has taken a team to a Super Bowl. I know. Right. You you I think if you took Dak out of Dallas. That's I think it's Dallas. I don't think it's Dak. Oh, that might okay. <laughs> I think I think it's saying. one of those that, yeah. yeah, if if you made that trade, it would be bad. Like how golf's career has been resurrected. He got out of out of LA. He came here. And you're like, oh, he is really good. It's not just the team. So I think it's the team, but go ahead. So let me give you the top five here. Five, C.J. Stroud. Four, wow. Joe okay, Burrow. Okay, one year. Mm-hmm. Joe Burrow at four. Josh Allen at three. Brock Purdy at two. I did, that to me is unbelievable. And Patrick Mahomes at one. Okay. Now, wow. I, I think Brock Purdy gets unnecessarily maligned. He's your quarterback. Two? That's ridiculous. Rico, when did you start writing lists, man? <laughs> all right. In all fair, I, I think it's high yeah. for him. But in all fairness, take away how he looks. And Mike might say he has a punch. If you look at his stats, he was at the top of the league in so many stats last year. Right. Like, yes, he looks weird. He looks young. He looks like Kirk Cousins' little brother. 
He gets it done. Well, that's why I said he's unfairly maligned. I, I would not have had him at two. No, right. But in the top ten somewhere. He would have been in the top ten. Yeah. And I know a lot of people, oh, well, anybody could do that. Well, no, not anybody can do that. No. If anybody could do that. Jimmy Garoppolo would still be the quarterback right. of the 49ers. So, yeah, you got to give the man some credit. He gets it done. He led them to the Super Bowl. Heck, he led them to a, he got He got them twice. He made a comeback in the Super Bowl. It was a defense that gave up. To Mahomes, of course, Mahomes won, but wow. I didn't think two. I thought CJ Stroud was a little high. Very much so. Based on one season. Based one on one great season. season. Yes. But you know what, Kenny? You like these you like these rankings that I did? Yeah, CBS called me and asked me if I wanted to do the rankings. So two, I, I, I probably would have had he would have been in the top ten. I probably would have had him at like six or seven. But statistically speaking. If if Jared Goff had the same numbers as Purdy, everybody in this town would be screaming up and down how he's the best quarterback in the league. Ooh, Bobby, you have to you have to have mobility for people to like you in this town. And well, you found out that he, Purdy has mobility. I know. I'm talking about Goff. So yeah, Aiden found I, that out the hard way. Yes, and that <laughs> is in football today.